good afternoon students yes students as you know topic is square and square roots and uh, we are doing exercise 3.3 yes students question number 1 to 8 question number 1 to 8 of exercise 3.3 we already discussed in previous lecture so now i am starting from question number 9th yes students your ninth question is in a school the student of class 8 collect Group is two thousand three hundred four for a picnic. Each student contributed as many rupees as the number of students in the class. Each student contributed as many rupees as the number of students in this class. Now find the number of students in this class. Yes, friends. Total contribution is two thousand three hundred four rupees. To find the uh, total number of students, we have to find the square root of two thousand three hundred four. So, by prime factorization method, we find the square root of two thousand three hundred four rupees two thousand three hundred. Now find prime factors of two thousand three hundred four. As you know, a last digit is four, and this is an even number. So in first step, we divide by two. One, one, five, two. Again, so even number. Divide by two. Five, seven, and six. Five hundred seventy-six. Again, divide by two. Two to our four. One uh, eight two hundred eighty-eight. Next is again two one forty-four. Again, so even number two seventy seventy-two divide by two thirty-six. Thirty-six divided by two is eighteen, and uh, eighteen divided by two nine. Now divide by three because nine is a odd number. So these are all prime factors of two thousand three hundred four. Now to find the square root. Uh, make up pairs of these num these prime factors. First pair, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now write two in first pair. Only one is it two. Then in second pair again two, 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 two and three. Now two to our four, four to our eight, eight to our sixteen. And uh, sixteen three are forty eight, so it means there are forty eight students in this class. There are forty eight students in this class. So this is question number ninth. New students. Next is a uh, tenth question. The product of two numbers is seven thousand two hundred sixty. Product of two numbers is seven thousand two hundred sixty. If one number is fifteen times the other number, one number is fifteen times the other number, then find these numbers. Yes, friends. To find this. Suppose your first number is x. Suppose your first number is x, and second number is fifteen times. The so second number will be fifteen x. First number is x, and second number is fifteen x. Now multiply x plus fifteen x is equal to seven thousand two hundred sixty. Question number ten.
let first number number x second number is 15x clear yeah? because if one number is 15 times the other so first number is x and second number is 15x now according to your statement according to your question product of two numbers product of x and 15x is 7260 now students x multiplied by 15x 15x square 15 multiplied by 15 x multiplied by x x square is equal to 7260 Now x square is equal to seven thousand two hundred sixty divided by fifteen. Yes, students. Now seven thousand two hundred sixty divided by fifteen will get four hundred eighty four. Four hundred eighty four. Now x square is equal to four hundred. Eighty-four. But we got the value of x. So to remove this square, x square, we will square root on other side. Four hundred eighty-four. Clear, students? Now by prime factorization, find the square root of four hundred eighty-four. On our side, four. Now find all prime factors. Two, four, two. Again, divide by two. One, two, one. Now divide by eleven. Eleven. Now eleven. Eleven. So square root of four hundred eighty-two is two multiplied by eleven is equal to twenty-two. So value of x is x is Twenty-two. So first number is twenty-two. Now second number. Second number. Second number is fifteen x. Fifteen multiplied by twenty-two is three hundred thirty. So our answer is first number is twenty-two. And second number is three thirty. Yes, students. Yes, students. Your statement is the product of two numbers seven thousand two hundred sixty. If one number is fifteen times the other, then find the numbers. Suppose your first number is x. And second number is fifteen x. Now, according to your statement, product of two numbers, product of these two numbers is seven thousand two hundred sixty. X multiplies fifteen x is equal to seven thousand two hundred sixty. Now, multiply x multiply by x square. Fifteen multiplied by one is fifteen. When we multiply, we get fifteen x square. Now, friends. Fifteen x square is equal to seven thousand two hundred sixty. Now move fifteen here. Now divide seven thousand two hundred sixty by fifteen. We will get four hundred eighty four. This then x square x square is equal to four hundred eighty four. Now we'll find the value of x square, but we want the value of only x. So remove to remove this square, we'll square root on opposite side. We write x and square root of four hundred eighty-four. Now find the square root of four hundred eighty-four by prime factorization. Find all prime factors of number four hundred eighty-four. 
These are 2, 2, 11, 11. Upon the square root, 2 and 11. So value of x is 22. So the first number is x. It means our first number is 22. It means your first number is 22. Then second number is 15x. Now find the second number. 15x, 15 multiplied by 2 is 330. So second number is 330. Clear students? Next is question number 11. Yes, friends, 11th question is, find three positive numbers in ratio two, ratio three, ratio five. Find three positive numbers in ratio uh, two, ratio three, ratio five, the sum of whose spheres, the sum of whose spheres is 950. First students, the ratio of these numbers is two, three, and five. The ratio is ratio is two, ratio three, ratio five. First, let three numbers are let numbers are two x, three x, and five x. Now, square of these numbers, 2x square is 4x square. 3x square, 9x square. Now, 5x is 25. Because your statement is the sum of, the sum of whose squares. The sum of whose squares is 950. The squares are 4x squared, 9x squared, and 25x squared. Now find its sum. Now, according to your question, according to your question, sum of whose squares means 4x squared plus 9x squared plus 25x squared is equal to uh, 900. According to your question, 4x square, 9x square, 25x square, the sum of whose squares is 950. Now, friends, add these all numbers 25 plus 9, 34, 34 plus 38. Sum is 38x square. 9. Again, students, x square is equal to 950 divided by 38. Now divide 950 by 38. Divide 950 by 38. 38 divided by 2, then 5. We get 25. 25. So, strings x square, x square is equal to 25, but we want the value of x. So, remove this square, x square. Now, remove this square and square root of 25. x is equal to square root of 25. Find the prime factor of 25, 5, 5 are 25. So, square root of x is Five. So value of x is five. Now first find these numbers. First number is two x. Two x. Two multiplied by five 
is equal to 10. So our first number is 10. Second number is 3x. 3x, 3 multiplied by 5, 5, 3 are 15. So second number is 15. This the next second number is 15. And third number is 5x. 5x. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. So students, our answer is our three numbers are 10, 15, and 25. Three numbers are 10, 15, and 25. Clear, students? So this is 11th question of exercise 3.3. Clear, students? We have three ratio. Two, the numbers are in ratio 2, 3, and 5. In first step, let these three numbers are 2x, 3x, and 5x. Now find the square of these numbers. 4x square is, uh, sorry, 2x square is 4x square, then 9x square, 25x square. Now, according to your statement, the sum of whose square is 950. Now add these three numbers. 4x square plus 9x square plus 25x square is equal to 950. Now add these numbers. This is 38x square is equal to 95. Now 35, 950 divided by 38. And uh, then we get 25. Then we find the value of x square. x square is equal to 25. is 2x. First number is 2x. 2x2 2 multiplied by 5, 10. Second number is 3x. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. And our third number is 5x. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. So our three numbers are 10, 15, and 25. Yes, students. Now, last question of this exercise, the parameter of two spheres, the parameter of two spheres are 60 meter and 144 meter respectively. Find the parameter of other sphere equal in area of the sum of uh, first two spheres. Yes, students. In this term, we have three spheres. The parameter of first sphere is 60 meter. And the parameter of second square is 144 meter. First, we'll find the area of two spheres whose parameter is given. Whose parameter is given. In first step, we will find the area of two spheres. Then we'll find the sum of this area. And uh, then the parameter of other square equal to the area of sum of two other squares. Then we do uh, find the square root of uh, this sum. And find, uh, then we'll find, at last we'll find the parameter of third square. Yes, students? So parameter of uh, first square. Parameter is... Yes, friends. 
parameter of uh, first sphere. First sphere is sixty. Sixty. Now find its side. Side is sixty divided by four because the parameter is four into side. Parameter is four into parameter of sphere is four into side, and we want the length uh, of side. Side is equal to sixty divided by. So side of sphere is sixty divided by four is fifteen. So side of first sphere is fifteen. Middle side of sphere fifteen meter. Now find its area. Area is side into side. Fifteen into fifteen is two twenty five meter square. So this is the area of first square. Now area parameter of second square. Parameter of second square one hundred forty four. Again, find side one forty four divided by four. That is uh, thirty six. Now find its area. Area of for second square thirty six. Into thirty six is thirty six multiplied by thirty six is one thousand two hundred ninety six meter. Okay. Yes, Peter. Area of first square is two twenty five. And area of second sphere is one thousand two hundred ninety six. Now, according to your statement, we'll add these area of two spheres. Total area to one thousand two hundred ninety six plus two hundred twenty five. One thousand five hundred, one thousand five hundred twenty-one meter square. So total area of these two squares is one thousand five hundred twenty-one. Now, students, in next step, we will find the square root of one thousand five hundred twenty-one. Dear students, now find the square root of one thousand five hundred twenty-one. Five hundred twenty-one. Find the square root of one thousand five hundred. Okay. In first step, we we'll divide by three. Three five are fifty. Zero three seven are twenty. Again, divide by three. Thirty one. Thirteen. Yes, friends. Now to find the square root, we will make pairs. Three and thirteen. So square root of one thousand five hundred twenty one is. Three into thirteen. That is thirty nine. So it means students side of third square. So side of third square is thirty nine centimeter. Now find its parameter. 
parameter of square Third square is thirty nine meter. Now find its parameter. Parameter is four into side four multiplied by thirty nine. Thirty nine into four. One hundred fifty. So your answer is one hundred fifty-six meter. Yes, friends. The last question of exercise three point three. Yes, students. Yes, students. So today your homework is complete. Exercise three point three in your fair notebooks. Now uh, I'm studying our next uh, topic that is square root by division method. How we can find square root? By division method. Yes, students. In exercise three point three, we discuss how we can find square root by prime factorization method. Yes, how we can find square root by prime factorization method. But students, in prime factorization method, we have uh, one. Well, one problem we face when we find the uh, uh, square root by prime factorization is we can find A, per, a square root only perfect square numbers by factorization by prime factorization method we can find square root only of perfect square numbers suppose our number is not a perfect square then how we can find the square root of uh, this number yes friends to find the square Root of non-square number, non-perfect square numbers. We will use division method. So, how we can find square root by division method? For this, friends, we will consider one example. Right? Suppose our number is seven hundred twenty-nine. Now, find the square root of seven hundred twenty-nine. Twenty-nine uh, by division method. Find square root of seven hundred twenty-nine by division method. In first sentence, make pairs from the right hand side. First pair is twenty-nine, and here we have only one number set. Yes, students. Now our number is seven. Now one 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 multiply one is one. Two multiply by two. Because we are finding square root two multiplied by two is four, three multiplied by three is nine, and nine is greater than seven. Same as division, we write smaller number of seven. So we in first step we will divide by two. Two two are four. Two two are four. Now next step is. Here we write add these two numbers two plus two four two plus two four and uh, first seven plus four is three now next number is two plus two. Right here four, and uh, our next pair twenty nine. Now twenty nine as as a pair, not two the nine. No, both numbers at same time twenty nine. Now here we have number four. 
Now, students, and the here our last digit is nine. Now, here we have a number four. And here our uh, last digit is nine. Now, think by which number we multiply the same. So, get the nine at a one space. For example, three, three or nine. Three, three or nine. Right here, four, three, multiply by three, three or nine, three, four or no, it's not divided. Because the number is 329. Again, second number is if we multiply 7 by 7, then we get 9 at uh, one space. So, right here 9, multiply by 9. Uh, sorry, multiply by 7. 7, 7 or 49. Right here 7, then 7. 7, 7 or 49, 4. 7, 4 are 28, and 28 plus 4 is 32. 329. So, right here 7, and this 329. So, square root of 729 is 27. Clear, students? So this is a division method by which we can find the square root of any number. Now let us know some more practice. Now we're starting exercise 4.4. Uh, oh, sorry, 3.4. Three yes, students, now exercise 3.4. First question is find the square root of each of the following by division method. The first number is 2401. Now find the square root of 2401 by division method. First question, first part. Yes, friends. In uh, exercise 3.4, first question, we have six parts. So we'll discuss in this lecture only three parts. Uh, that is even, uh, uh, that is odd number question. First, third, and fifth. And the question number second, fourth, and sixth, we will try after this lecture, okay? Now, first question, first part, find the square root of 2,401 by division method. So, by division method. The symbol is here. First, make pairs. First, then second. Now, here I have number 24. 3, 3 R, 9. 4, 4 R, 16. 5, 5 are 25. And 25 is greater than 24. 25 is greater than 24. So in first step, we will divide by 4. 4, 4 are 16. Dear students, now 24 minus 16. 24 minus 16, 8. And the next pair is 0, 1. Next pair is 0, 1. Now, right here, 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4, 8. 4 plus 4, 8. Now, here is number 8. And here, last digit is 1. Now, students think. Well, which number will multiply one uh, by itself to get one at uh, uh, one space? That is one multiplied one is one. Is 81, it's not divided. Then uh, nine multiplied by nine is 81. So try with nine. Nine. Nine, nine, and 81, eight. And uh, eight, nine, eight are 72. 
so right shell nine here yeah. eight hundred so square root of two thousand four hundred one is forty dear students so this is first question first part Dear students, so today your homework is complete. Exercise three point three, and try uh, do practice of uh, uh, division method. That is question number first. In first question, we have five parts. So try to solve these uh, five questions and complete exercise three point three in your free notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.